して集いしたが、百年目の目覚めに。So before I continue with my、uh, series on anti-intellectualism in the fitness world. One thing that I do want to go over is supplements that do work.、Um, there are a lot of supplements in the, I guess, supplement industry that are complete bullshit.、Um, a lot of them don't have any,、um, you know, effect at all. And if they do have proven effects, sometimes they're,、um, they're marketed in a very negative way. I'll get into that later. But basically, what we want to talk about today is. Basically, today we're talking about the supplements that actually do work. So the first one should be no surprise is whey protein. Now, whey protein is not so much a supplement as it is a meal, a meal replacement. So the reason that I would recommend that some people get whey protein is the fact that, for for what it's worth, it is a cheap source of relatively cheap source of protein. Um, basically, in most、uh, proteins, you're going to find one scoop is going to give you about 25 grams of protein, and in this particular brand,、uh, it's 130 calories,、uh, almost no fats, almost no carbs. So it's pretty much completely just straight protein, and that is useful for people who are cutting,、uh, especially because. I don't know if you guys know know this or not, but when you cut,、um, pretty much you're going to be eating a lot of dry ass tuna, a lot of dry chicken breast, and a lot of dry turkey breast. Those are going to be some of your staple foods, along with egg whites and Greek yogurt. That gets very boring after a while, especially when you are like me and you have a sweet tooth.、Um, I I enjoy junk food. I enjoy things that taste good. Um, I spend a lot of time、um, trying to make trying to make foods that are basically、uh, hacks. So I'll try to make like chicken breast nuggets. Okay,、um, I'll spend a lot of time making uh, Chinese uh, food when it's really just chicken breast with certain kinds of sauces on it and plain white rice with soy sauce and certain vegetables together.、Um, I spend a lot of time trying to make things taste good. That If depending on the protein you get, it should taste good.、Um, a lot of times it's going to be trial and error, but some different brands that do taste good include what I have here. This is、uh, GAF Way by Pump Chasers.、Um, a couple other ones: MTS Way by Tiger Fitness Nutrition.、Uh, the Gold Standard Way by Optimum Nutrition.、Uh, those are just a few that are international brands.、Um, And、uh, they're readily available to a lot of people. There are, however,、um, very cheap proteins that you can find at Walmart,、um, at、uh, you know, just retail locations that actually are complete proteins with complete amino acid profiles.、Um, and that's that's another thing that you want to watch for when you're getting protein. A couple of years ago, a company called Body Fortress, I think it was a private label of Walmart's. They were actually sued because what they were doing was、um, something called amino acid spiking. I don't know if you guys know this, but protein is made up of amino acids, and your body needs a certain amount of each amino acid in order to function. Pro- well, in order to,、uh, I guess, function properly. But at the,、uh, in our situation, basically, we want complete profiles so that we can get stronger and put on more muscle mass. Well, what Body Fortress was doing, they were just getting certain amino acids and just throwing them right into the mix and calling it protein. So、um, basically, people who were consuming it were getting incomplete、um, versions of what they were th- what they thought that they were consuming. Yeah. So basically, make sure that you get it from a reputable brand like some of the ones that I mentioned.、Um, most of the time. You can pretty much tell right off the bat whether or not it's going to be legit, but there are you can go on the internet and look up some reviews of certain brands of protein before you actually go out and buy them. I would recommend that you do that. Oh shit! Okay, so the next thing on our list is 
creatine. Now, this is going to get its own video because there are a lot of a lot of studies done on this product. Um, basically, what what creatine is, it's a chemical. It basically makes you stronger. Uh, it's proven to work by a, a ton of research. Um, there is uh, here's the thing. This is a chemical. Um, if you have creatine monohydrate, if you get it for ten dollars, it is absolutely no different than the creatine you get for sixty dollars. There are different kinds of creatine, like creatine creatine monohydrate is what you should get because it's the cheapest version of it. Uh, creatine, I think phosphate, creatine ethyl ester. Um, I think there's another one, creatine hydro or something. Anyway, they are all literally doing the same thing for your for, to your body. It's just making you stronger. Um, <clears throat> basically, when you take uh, creatine, it's just a powder. It goes in your water. You can put it in, you know, whatever. I think it comes in pill form too. But it's like uh, it's just a chemical that goes into your muscles and um, it replaces the uh, the phosphate in your uh, ATP so it makes you uh, able to um, lift more weight basically and make you stronger, make you bigger. So that's pretty much all that creatine does. Again, this is one of those things where it has crazy marketing so the $60 bottle is the exact same product as what is inside of the ten dollar bottle so get the cheap kind because it's just a chemical there's no difference okay number three um, this is vitamin D uh, this is something that a lot of people can benefit from because a lot of people are deficient in vitamin D now as you can see there is some glorious sunlight coming from the window behind me and that is not just because I am Sol Invictus, it's because it is the late summer and there is a lot of sunlight out. Now, um, one of the things that you guys want to uh, be aware of is that when the sun starts to um, leave us, when the days start to get shorter, we are exposed to less sunlight and basically we acquire uh, vitamin D uh, through the sun that's our main source of vitamin D. When it reaches our skin, our bodies automatically just uh, absorb it. So what it essentially does is it makes your um, your bones stronger, it helps your immune system, and uh, yeah, so we can, we can all benefit from that. It's a, an essential nutrient. And the thing is, the paler you are, I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but I am very white, okay? I am the, the definition of you know, I look like a solar panel when I go to the beach. So, um, for very pale people, we can get away with um, just going out into the sun for a little while and just getting all of our vitamin D. Um, we're, pale people are naturally um, evolved to for this exact purpose. So, if you are a darker person, especially if you're black, um, what I'm going to recommend you do is you get some vitamin D, especially if it's winter time because if you're wearing a jacket, um, there's not going to be a lot of sunlight even reaching your skin in the first place. So in that situation, I highly recommend, yes, you should take vitamin D. Now um, one of the things that in Canada, um, I think our milk is actually for a lot of companies um, supplemented with vitamin D, so if you're already getting it through there. Um, you know, you might want to think twice about buying pills for vitamin D. The last supplement that I would recommend is fish oil and the reason for that is because um, fish oil is another, um, well actually omega-3, omega-6, omega-9 are fatty acids. Those are some things that we are heavily deficient in as a population statistically. So um, basically if you eat a lot of fish, okay, if you eat a lot of salmon, uh, that sort of thing, you're probably not deficient in it, but um, that's that's only if you're eating it like every day, every second day. Um, I eat a lot of fish, so I don't actually have the, the little capsules, but basically uh, omega-3, omega-6, your fatty acids, what they do is they help your brain. Um, you can probably do your own research on that, but 
basically it's something that you need, it's something that um, your body can't get from anywhere else. So because we are almost, you know, invariably deficient in it as a population, we really should be supplementing in it. Now, that concludes the video for today. Those are the supplements that do work. Uh, those are the supplements that some people, um, like vitamin D and fish oil, some people can benefit from if you're actually deficient in it. There is a good reason for you to be deficient in it because it's hard to get from any other source. Um, so, I mean, if you're deficient in vitamin C, uh, you need to change your nutrition, period. Um, that sort of thing. But those are two excusable, well, not really, but common deficiencies that we encounter in our population in the West. So I hope this video has helped you guys. and. Um, be on the lookout for the next video talking about the supplement industry and some things, well actually the other things that just don't work, okay? Um, so oh yeah, and if you guys are worried about pre-workout, we're going to get into that in the next video. So hope you have a good day. Um, if you like the video, please share it and like the video. I'm waiting. Hit the button. It's just a freaking click. Anyway, thank you very much. Have a good day.